Hey everybody, KVG here. Now, as many of you guys might know, we are going to be getting a new weapon series coming very soon. While it might not be the final weapon series, this is definitely the weapon series that's going to be the most sought after and should be the one that everyone is going to consider best in slot, except for some of you guys who play Force. Now, that is the Air and Crass weapon series, or the Dark Banisher and Light Weaver weapon series. While the global name is still subject to change, they come with a very interesting potential on both weapons. For the Ayer weapon series, they come with at maximum at level three, boost damage by 12%, it reduces PP consumption by 20%, and then recovers 20 PP every 10 seconds. Now, the reason why I say Force wouldn't really be using a weapon like this, it's because of one key factor, and that's actually the Crass weapon series potential. The Crass weapon series basically has a potential that can only be activated off of three normal attacks. While it still has the ability of the previous weapon, the new effect or the new potential then becomes at level three, grants the effect of reincarnation of fate or the original air weapon potential. After using three normal attacks for 30 seconds, changes the effect of this potential to boost damage by 18.72%, reduces damage taken by 30%, and then also negates knockback. So for most classes, there wouldn't really be a problem. And depending on how you play your force, this may not be a problem either. But just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. Now this weapon series will be available at Zeeg. And what you're going to be needing for the Dark Banisher weapons at the very least, or the Air series weapons, is a ton of things that you're going to be getting out of Divide Quest. So in order to get your Air series weapon, you're going to need 100 Plomnia, 50 Amarods, 20 Primordial Darkstone Deimoses, 200 X Cubes, 200 Emmer Fragments, and then 30 ultimate boosters. Now, again, this is just for the Air weapon series because the Crass weapon series is going to need something else. You could also chance it from getting the weapon to drop actually from the final urgent quest or the true primordial glade or true profound darkness urgent quest. I'm just going to call it frog from here on going forward, by the way. So the frog urgent quest basically has the ability to drop the dark banisher weapon series as well. But there's one thing to keep in mind, and that is when upgrading from the air to crass weapon series, you are going to need class X cubes. So while normally it wouldn't be a problem to be able to get your weapon to drop and then convert it or upgrade it and then convert it into the weapon category of your choosing, because class X cubes are going to be involved, you may not have enough. So for example, if you wind up getting the sword to drop, you're going to need hunter and hero X cubes, and you're going to need 300 of them. But let's say you get the double savers to drop, then you're going to need fighter and a 12 X cubes. So you see where the problem might lie here. Another thing to keep in mind is that also when getting your weapon from Zeeg via the trade in with the resources that we mentioned a little bit ago, you're also going to need five enhancement cap ups. The reason for this is, is because whenever you trade a weapon for the actual weapon, like let's say with the bad shop or even Zeeg himself, anything that is not a drop will be given to you at a max enhancement rank of 30. If the weapon drops itself, then obviously it'll drop at level 35 or the max enhancement rank of 35. So there's nothing to worry about there. But if you are looking for enhancement caps, maybe you thought about this last minute, there are a couple places that you'll be able to get them from. The first one is actually from the player shops, but keep in mind that this might be the most expensive way. The second is actually from rainbow keys. Rainbow keys have a chance of dropping them. And then finally using the class X cube exchange shop, you can also then go and trade in 300 of your class X cubes for an enhancement cap up. Keep in mind that this might just be just as expensive as buying it for maybe nine to 10 mil, depending on what time you wind up seeing them, but this might be your best bet. But like I said before, you are gonna be using these class X cubes for for your Crass and Air series weapons, or Air and Crass series weapons rather, so you may not want to use them on just getting enhancements alone. So far, I hope all of this makes sense because now we're going to be moving over into the units themselves. So when it comes to units, they're actually a little bit easier to obtain. The problem is the modules themselves. Unless you're doing divide quests on a weekly basis, the only other places to be able to obtain these will be from an urgent quest that is similar to the Armada, which on the Japanese version of the game, that is called the Morning of Demise. I'm going to be leaving a link down to the Morning of Demise urgent quest or emergency quest on the Japanese version down in the description below. So with that being said, the only place that we're going to be reasonably able to get the modules from is from divide quests. Now these are actually available via weeklies and they do have a chance of dropping from the divide quests themselves, but the weeklies are pretty much your best and safest bet. By opening up your menu, you can go to content information and then go over to divide quest info. From here, you'll be able to look at the weekly point rewards. And then by going to the second page, 
you will see that you get three module X skulls, Mitras, and Varunas for getting various point rewards. You'll also be able to get Shivas from when the Divide quest for 30 to 35 is finally released as well. Now, there are another couple things to be able to keep in mind here. One, that all of these weeklies are able to be done per character. Meaning that if you have multiple characters, these same weekly divide quest point rewards can be obtained on each of those individual characters. And then two is the obvious one, which helps you get your units much faster. Now, it's perfectly OK if you don't have the ability to get these right away. That's fine. But if you're feeling rich enough, then you can also go to the personal shops and you'll be able to buy the modules from the player shops themselves. And now with how to get the weapons and units out of the way, there's one thing that I really want to be able to stress here. On the Japanese version of the game, there have only been five guaranteed ways to be able to get a Crass series weapon. I stress guaranteed because they were also able to drop from the rerun of Space Magatsu, but much like Key Liberates and everything else, they were incredibly rare. But the Divine Eye Stone Granates that you're going to be needing for the air weapons are incredibly rare. Since we didn't go over what you're going to be needing for the Crash Series weapons when you upgrade your air weapons, where you're going to be needing is your air series weapon at plus 35, 50 die yards, 150 primordial darkstone demoses, one eye stone granate, four granate crystals, and then 300 X cubes of your particular class. Now, this is what I was mentioning before when we were talking about how you're going to need class X cubes but I wanted to wait till now to be able to go into more detail. So assuming that everything on global then stays the same, there's going to be four different ways to be able to obtain the Divine Eye Stone Granite, one of which is available from a title reward for defeating the Primordial Darkness 50 times. The other will be from the Mission Pass, which at the time of recording this video, we can assume that it's going to be available on the Mission Pass reset on March 3rd. Now, there are two other ways to be able to guarantee this, but they're a little bit more difficult. There is a solo version of the Sodam fight or the final boss fight. And by reaching depth 50 of that and also depth 100, you'll be able to get another two granite crystals. Now, there was one other way that the Japanese version of the game wound up getting a granite crystal and they were actually given to them after completing a series of missions, which was part of a 15 star weapon material get campaign, which required them to complete the primordial glare from the void 10 times on ultra hard. And this does not count for the trigger quests. So assuming that global does not get the 15 star material weapon get campaign, we can only safely assume that we're going to get at minimum of four of these crystals to be able to upgrade towards our air weapons, meaning that these weapons aren't actually going to be that common at all. So while you're going to be preparing for these weapons and units, as always, while it's definitely a lot more efficient for you to have multiple characters and to be able to run the trigger versions of these quests and so on and so forth, these weapon series and unit series are quite literally what are supposed to be the final upgrades that we're going to be seeing from Zieg. So be sure to do them at your own pace, especially since you may not want to burn out. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the video out here. I hope this was able to help you at least prepare or at least know what you're going to be getting yourselves into. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Or maybe there was something that I forgot. You can leave that down in the comments down below as well. But as always, everybody, stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.